What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Fan Takeover WWE Ultimate Edition Triple H figure. Now, I've been out of commission for a couple days. I got smashed in the face by some food poisoning from Texas Roadhouse. Now, I'm a big Texas Roadhouse guy, but Jesus Christ, it had me laid up in the bed not being able to move, and it felt god-awful as I vomited on my floor. Nonetheless, we're back with an epic figure, and I'm excited to get into this. We've been waiting around for this for a long time. At least I have. When it went up for pre-order, a lot of people got their order in, orders got canceled, orders got delayed. Some people got their orders a month ago, and now I'm getting mine, and some are getting theirs till August. So there's a lot of things going around, but I'm finally glad to have it in my possession for us to review today, man. You guys can see Ultimate Edition. You guys know that the fan takeover boxes do have the red main color with the white. It seems like exclusive Ultimate Editions go with the red main with the white accents, and then the main Ultimate Edition figures usually go with the white main with the red accents. But here we go, man. Here is the figure in all its beauty. You got Ultimate Edition logo, Triple H at the top. You got the little Fan Takeover logo right here on the corner piece. You also get a great little photoshopped image of Triple H here. He's got his hat. He's got his shirt. Got Triple H down here. On the back, you got a great product image of the figure here. Triple H there. Fan Takeover thing. You got some bio read. If you like to read it, you can pause it now. Pretty excited that this one won the vote. 50% just about here. I'm glad it had the most variety to it, and I think it really stands out here. You got a nice image of Triple H here on his way to the ring. You got Triple H on this side again, Ultimate Edition logo, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging for the game, man. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Can't wait to dive into it with you. Again, this is an Amazon exclusive. You can't get this on ringside. You can't get this anywhere, man. You gotta go to Amazon and pre-order it. It may not be up for pre-order. It was on pre-order forever, and then all of a sudden it sold out. You guys know how those things work. You may have to pay aftermarket, or it might go back up for pre-order. I'm not entirely sure, but you can't get it in the aftermarket. Let's shut the hell up and dive into the game. So here's Triple H out of his packaging, looking mighty fantastic as we thought, you know. A lot of people were looking forward to this piece, and I gotta say, I do enjoy what I'm looking at, but at the same time, I do have my gripes. I got some things to talk about. We're gonna dive into all the things about this Triple H Ultimate Edition. This is our second rendition of Triple H in Ultimate Edition form, and I'm sure we're, we're probably not done, right? We're probably gonna get another Triple H down the line. You guys know that they like to do their repeats. We've had two and sometimes three versions of different guys coming soon, and so we know that they are no different here for Triple H. I'm sure we'll get another one, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. We're going to dive into the details, man. Let's go ahead and get into Triple H's accessories, then we'll take a closer look at the figure itself. So getting into Triple H's accessories, man, of course with the Ultimate Edition line, you always get a great number of interchangeable head sculpts, and then you get the cloth goods, and then you get maybe a bonus or two accessories in there with the interchangeable hands, and no different here for Triple H. I feel like this is the first Ultimate Edition in a minute since we, you know, that we didn't get a championship. I know with Alexa Bliss we didn't get one, and maybe a couple others, but I feel like it's a true staple to get a championship, or that's been a common theme. But getting into these heads, this is our first head sculpt, and this is the one that I'm not too keen on. I mean, these aren't my favorite head sculpts anyways, but this one just isn't for me. I hate that he's looking off to the left right there. It kind of makes him look a bit wonky, especially if you're looking on him straight on. But if you turn him to the side, you know, you do get that nice side profile there. It's still not my favorite. I think they've done better Triple H head sculpts. This isn't my favorite, like I said, but I've been begging for a handlebar mustache Triple H for a very long time and you know this one I guess gets the job done it just looks a bit off in some way I, I like the color of the hair and stuff like that I think it matches well and everything I just think that the handlebar mustache head sculpt here it doesn't line up quite right there either it's kind of you know it's supposed to connect fluently doesn't connect fluently right there in that area right there coming through which is a bit disappointing we also have this one and this one's also a bit off I'm not really feeling the smirky head sculpt either it is a bit cleaner on the facial hair it's just not my favorite man I really can't place it. It kind of makes him look goofy, if that makes sense. I know DX at this time was a bit goofy, so I guess that makes sense, but I, and I guess the likeness isn't totally off. It's just something about it. It's kind of missing that menacing Triple H look, I guess. And then we also have the screaming expression, which probably is my favorite. I think it captures the likeness of Triple H the most. You do get the, you know, you get your you get your handlebar mustache, which is great. You can also plug this into other areas of Triple H. You know, the, the handlebar mustache is always great. I'd really like to see more of an 04 or an 05 Triple H, but this still looks good right now. For 2006, I'm not going to tear it down too, too bad. I still like the likeness. And the screaming head sculpt is solid. Just think it could have been better. Could have definitely been stronger. But diving into the t-shirt accessory, this is a shirt that I did own as a kid. I did have this shirt. I actually have a custom one of these shirts in my collection already, which you guys will probably see in this video. But I always liked the graphic. You know, it had them DX chopping here with their cartoon characters. And then you flipped it on the back, and I'm pretty sure it said suck it, and it had them mooning you. So you had Sean and Triple H's butt wore that to school. Can't remember if I got in trouble for it 
or not. I want to say I did get in trouble for it, but at the same time, I didn't care. You know, I wasn't giving a damn. But Shawn Michaels and H look good here. I feel like it's almost certain that we'll get a, a Shawn Michaels. I know that we got the Walgreens exclusive, but we did get a Walgreens exclusive H to go with our Shawn Michaels. So I almost feel like if we're getting this figure, eventually we're going to get a DX Shawn to match this figure, if that makes sense. Outside of the shirt, we also have a DX hat, which we've seen multiple times. It's got the nice, you know, opening in the back there. DX logo looking clean right there. That's always a nice hat accessory. Fits the figure well. And we also have the signature water bottle, which kind of has an oily feel to it, which I don't like. But, you know, Triple H is nothing without his water bottle. You know, you got to have the most badass entrance in wrestling. And the next side of that, you get your interchangeable hands, including your mic holding hands, which is one thing I love is that they actually put the white peg on the right hand and then the non, you know, white or the skin tone peg over here on this side. So that's pretty cool. But you get your interchangeable mic holding hands, you get your fisted hands, and you get your DX chopping hands, telling people to suck their genitals. All right, guys, so getting into Triple H, starting out the head sculpt, we already took a look at it, right? We already took a look at it. And it's, again, like when it's on the figure, I feel like you need to kind of heat this hair up and then run it under cold water while it's like draped either, I don't think behind. I think behind would look a little bit odd. I mean, I guess it doesn't look too bad, but I feel like you need to get it closer to his neck to make it look better. Kind of has like an odd positioning there. But off to the side, I guess it's not too bad. But that, I think Mattel's done better with Triple H, which I, I will show you guys. I have a custom head sculpt that I think looks better, which going down to this torso kind of gives me that same vibe. My man, Paj, he made an insane custom. He took this exact figure and he put a Ric Flair torso on it. Made this figure look insane. It made it look so accurate. It gave him like the more flabby looking torso from around this era for Triple H. Wasn't quite ripped up, which I feel like I need to do now. I may have to send this man some parts and let him do it for me because he nailed it. I think it looks beautiful. I think it fits the time way better. However, I do like the the trunks that we got for this. The I really wish that we could get an Iron Cross Triple H like this without the DX on it, but I did make a fix up of that. If you use the Decade of Domination Triple H and then you swap the legs with a different Triple H and head swap it, you can make these trunks pretty much, which I've already done, but it would be cool to see that from Mattel at some point. They're going to keep printing Triple H's. We might as well, you know, just, you know, we got we to gotta get all the trunks designs. It's just the way it is. Got your elbow pads, got your white tape on there, which we covered. He is on ball joints as all Triple H figures are, which makes the world go round. We do have our white knee tape here. He does have the smaller knee pads on there instead of the larger ones. And then he does have the iron crosses on the boots, which he wore around the 04, 05, 06 era. He does have his toe articulation here. He does have his boot swivel. And the figure feels really good in the hand, man. It really does, which I think is really nice. But let's get into some Triple H figure comparisons. So for your Triple H figure comparisons, here is the new Ultimate Edition up next to our Walgreens exclusive Triple H over here. And then the Elite 7 Triple H over there. This is every iteration of DX Triple H that we have seen so far in these trunks, okay? We did get Long Tights version in the Legends figure. You know, we've seen other iterations, but as far as the short trunks designs are concerned, this is what we have here. And I think this head sculpt's more accurate. This is actually a random battle pack head sculpt, I think. Or maybe the T-shirt series head sculpt. It does have the handlebar mustache actually sculpted on there for my man Joey from Showstopper Custom Figs. It's this head sculpt, but with custom beard. And it's just, it captures the likeness. This is my favorite Triple H head they've ever made, and I'll zoom in for you. So here's the difference. This is the Ultimate Edition, and then you have the Custom. I just like the way the Custom looks, man. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think down below, but I think Joey captured the color better. I think the likeness is there. It's just really, really nice. That handlebar mustache is just insane, but here's the trunks up next to each other, and I know I put lime green boots on here. These are Mojo Raleigh boots. I just wanted to see what the fix-up looked like, and it looks pretty damn sick, even though it's not accurate. It's just like a cool little figure there, but there's that, and then here's my custom shirt. You can see how dusty it is. Bless it, but there is the Elite 7 trunks, everything going on there, and there's the head sculpt right there. See, dude, I just think this this just looks better. You know, it's it's got the cartoony-esque look, but I just like the likeness. It's, it's pretty damn sweet. I like it. And then for more comparisons, we do have the first Ultimate Edition Triple H, which is going to be this one over here, the Series 3 Ultimate Edition Triple H. Got the dawn of two different eras of Triple H here, and it's kind of cool to see the evolution of Ultimate Editions, because this one actually has the butterfly joints. This one didn't. This one had that first-gen style torso, and they're virtually the same, except this one does have a little bit better articulation, but it is kind of cool to see the differences here, and I guarantee you, within the next two years, we'll have another Triple H Ultimate Edition. I just I I just see that coming. I could be wrong, but I, I think that will be the case. I'm sure we'll have another Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior, Brock Lesnar. We're going to get more and more of the same guys, man. It's just the way it is. So there's your Triple H Ultimate Edition figure comparisons. And then for his DX Tag Team Partner, we do have our HBK Walgreens exclusive Elite Fix Up to compare with this Ultimate Edition. He is wearing the matching shirt. Of course, you guys know that I do have the shirt on our Triple H. And this is just to see what the two look up next to each other. And I feel like this figure's tiny compared. Look at that right there.
there. Good God in heaven. I mean, I know that Sean's like 5'10", 5'11", and Triple H is 6'4", but good Jesus, man. Is it that egregious? Anyways, I did fix up this Shawn Michaels. I put like the 2K15 or 16 Battle Pack arms on here, or the lower arms, to give him like the green arm. But I, th I just think it made a really sweet fix up. And then I put a Battle Pack head sculpt on there or something to give him that same look with like the 5 o'clock shadow and everything. And we're still getting this head in 2022. We still got this head. Isn't that insane, bro? Like a seven-year-old head. Actually, it's like a decade old. They just added some paint apps. Give us a new head. But yeah, that's pretty cool to see these up next to each other. I think it makes for a sweet photo op. But I think that pretty much wraps up our review of Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Triple H in his DX getup right here, man. I actually do enjoy the figure a lot, but again, I, I am a big Triple H guy. You know, I, I, was, I was watching wrestling. I always loved this shirt as a kid. I actually owned this shirt as a kid. While this run of DX wasn't my favorite, I still was digging the shtick of DX. I know it was a bit corny at times, a little bit cringy at times, but at the same time, I did enjoy it. But I do like this Triple H figure. I think if you're an Ultimate Edition completist, you don't have a real, you know, choice on the matter. But I like this Triple H. I like the different accessories you get. I think you can create a lot of different things here. Now, I wouldn't go above and beyond and pay a ridiculous price for this guy, but I do like the gear. The head sculpts aren't my favorite. I think we could get better head sculpts here. I've been begging for a handlebar mustache Triple H for a very long time. You guys saw the different head sculpts that we've seen. But at the same time, I do like all the things you're getting here. I wouldn't overpay for it. I would not overpay for it. Maybe you can make a trade scheme. Maybe you can do something outside of the box like that. But it is an Amazon exclusive. So you can get, if you guys want to grab it, you can go over there, see if they put it up for pre-order. Maybe it'll come open again, but do not hold your breath on that. You never know with these Ultimate Editions. But I do enjoy some things about the figure. I am having fun with it. And as a big Triple H guy, I do love it in my collection, but I know it's not for everybody. But that's pretty much going to wrap up my Triple H Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on the figure down in the comment section below. Leave a like on the video. I'd really, really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Leave your thoughts down below, and I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed day, and don't cross the line. You cross the line.